blessed Monday morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Glad to come together with you again today. Hope to be a little bit of source of encouragement, blessing, maybe even conviction as we go through God's holy, precious word, the Bible, chapter by chapter. And today, our thought for the day goes through Zechariah chapter 11. As you go through this chapter of the Bible, you can read of um, false shepherds. Uh, verse 15 calls them uh, false shepherds. Uh, they lead the people astray. And today I wanted to talk about leadership or shepherds. And first and foremost, our shepherd is the good shepherd, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the living word of God, as we read in John chapter 10, verse 11. And we must let him rule and guide and direct our lives as we read the written word of God, the Bible. I wanted to get that first and foremost out there. Secondly, there are what I would call under shepherds. Those are people who have rulership and authority in our society. And I think of uh, political leaders. Um, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2 tells us, when the righteous rule, the people rejoice in the land. When the wicked rule, the people groan. Here in America, Christians, followers of Christ are groaning uh, as we see the leadership in this country uh, totally defiled and uh, abandoning God and his word. And, you know, in the beginning of time when Adam and Eve sinned, it says that from the beginning, it would be a woman's authority, a, a woman's desire to usurp a man's authority. And we read in Isaiah chapter three, verses 10 to 12, you could read in that passage of scripture that when God judged the nation of Judah in the capital of Jerusalem, it says that women were ruling over their men, children were disobedient to the elders, here in America, we see so many women wanting to rule, uh, whether in, uh, in politics and in, in, in courthouses, uh, at a job, even in the family. And I have to say, first and foremost, part of this problem is because men have abandoned their role as authority figures. Uh, men are supposed to be or fathers are supposed to be the shepherds in their home. Ephesians chapter six. Verse 4 tells us, Fathers, raise up your children in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Don't cause them or provoke them to be angry. Um, men are supposed to be the shepherds in their home, but because of uh, their ir irresponsibility, and then we have the women's rights movements and all this other Me Too stuff going on and all this other madness that's going on in our society, we want to run the why, one of the reasons why so many uh, children are growing up astray. Um, by the grace of God, I've worked for over 30 years for ch with children in a group home in a public school. And I could tell you one of the biggest problems of why our children are so lost is because they don't have proper parental guidance. They don't have the shepherds in their home. The TV and the media will try to tell you it's uh, systematic racism or they're, they're deprived. I'm not saying these things don't exist, but the main reason why so many children are falling through the cracks of the system is because they don't have those shepherds at home that they need. Shepherds also should be seen in government authorities. I was saying in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, the Bible tells us that we are to pray for the leadership in our nation uh, so that the people under them could live at, in peace. We should be praying for these leaders because they are to be shepherding a nation. Government authority is given to us by God, as we read in Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. God raises up kings and he takes down kings. And if the people are righteous, I looking back to scripture, God raises up oftentimes righteous leaders. But when the people rebel against God, God will give them leaders that they want, like in 1 Samuel chapter 8. When the people didn't want God to rule over them, God gave them a wicked king by the name of King Saul. And I think in America, again today, because people, the mass majority of American people, and I don't say this self-righteously, but it's just my opinion, and I listen to other Christian leaders, there are some so-called 75 million professing Christians in this country. <laughs> but if every Christian was real, if all those people were truly following Christ and the word of God, we wouldn't have the problems we're having today. First, First Peter chapter 4, verse 17 says, Judgment begins with the house of God. 
My friends, the problem is ultimately, first and foremost, with the people of God, the church. And shepherds or pastors or elders or deacons or maybe even older people in the church who should know more because Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, did say in Luke chapter 12, verses 47 and 48, to him much is given, much is required. The biggest responsibility is with the church. Acts chapter 20, verse 28 tells us that the leadership in the church should be shepherding the flock. First Peter chapter 5, you can read verses 1 to 4. Again, they should be feeding the flock of Christ. Not the garbage that oftentimes you hear on TV, uh, social justice, uh, name it and claim it, prosperity, gospel, feel-good messages. Yeah, these things are a part of what the scriptures teach us. But again, the central focal point should be, as 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 to 4 teaches us, is that it is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Preachers, pastors should be faithful to the word of God. The living word of God, as I said, Christ himself, the written word of God, the Bible. My friends, today, I hope today's devotional video will remind us that we all have a responsibility uh, as under shepherds to whatever capacity God has us. And we need to come to the Lord as little children. Christ spoke of this in Matthew chapter 18, verse 3, that we are to come to, uh, to, come to Christ, come to himself, turning from our sins and coming to him as little children. Now, that doesn't mean that little children are innocent. Psalm 51, verse 5. Psalm 58, verse 3. Please look at those passages of Scripture because we often think of little babies as angels, and I've had two daughters, and to me, yes, in my eyes, they were little angels. But when you read the Bible and those passages of Scripture and Psalms, it speaks of basically how the wicked go astray from the womb. We're conceived in sin. The old-time reformers and Puritans had it right when they said that babies are vipers and diapers. But we do come to the Lord in the sense that children are trustworthy to their parents. When my daughters were little, they trusted in me and my wife to feed them, to clothe them, to walk them across the street, take them to school. They were dependent on their parents. And we too, as children, spiritual children, come to the Lord depending on Him, trusting Him, not the things of this world, not the shepherds that we might see in this country we live in or in this world, but coming to the true shepherd, as I said before in the beginning, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today. May we truly follow the leader, that old uh, game we used to play when we were children, spiritually speaking, which is Jesus Christ, our chief shepherd. In his name we pray. God bless you all.